Hi, Colleen here. Today I will be reading Good Night Doom by Julia Yu. That's me. In the great no room, there was a floating baron and a view of two moons and a picture of Shy Hulud bursting out of the doom. And there were three Fadigan recruits fighting in still suits. And two Imperial Sadakar and a pair of Gom Jabbar. And a little toy keep and a young Madi. And maker hooks and a Chris knife and a bowl full of water of life. And a Bene Gesserit witch whispering, They try and died. Good night, no room. Good night, two moons. Good night, Shai Hulu, bursting out of the doom. Good night, Glow Globe and the Floating Baron. Good night, recruits. Good night, still suits. Good night, Sadakar. And good night, Gong Jabbar. Good night, Suit Doctor. And good night, Orn Softar. Good night, little keep. And good night, Mwadi. Good night, Maker Hooks. And good night, Chris Knight. Good night, Golden Path. Good night, Water of Life. And good night to the Bene Gesserit Witch Whispering. They Good night, Arrakis. Good night, Seek Tabar. Good night, Spice Flows everywhere. So that was Good Night Doom by me. You can check it out for free at goodnightdoom.com and you can buy a hard copy from Blurb. So I wrote this book in 2011, 10 years ago. I was inspired by a college humor post I saw that had science fiction children's books listed and there was an idea for Good Night Doom based on the Margaret Wise Brown children classic, Good Night Moon. And I thought that was a great idea. I love Frank Herbert's Dune, so I decided to make that book a reality. So in 2021, I touched up the illustrations a little bit more and made it more suitable for print because the original art <laughs> was pretty low resolution. The visual style of the book is obviously based on Good Night Moon with elements inspired by the 1984 movie Dune by David Lynch who later took his name off the project because it was pretty bad even though visually it was amazing. For people who are not familiar with Dune, I can go over some of the details included in my book. In the first section, I mentioned the no room. This actually does not appear in the first novel. This is a room that blocks everything inside from being seen by preaching vision, which is the power that Paul has after eating a lot of spice. The floating baron is obviously Baron Harkonnen here. And the view of two moons mentions the two moons of Arrakis, which Paul can see from the window here. Shai Hulud is the name the Freeman gives to the giant sandworms. The Fadakin recruits are Freeman fighters. Maker hooks are hooks that the Freeman use to travel with the sandworm. Chris knives are a dagger made from the teeth of a sandworm. And the water of life is a poison that the Bene Gesserits drink to become a reverend mother. Here is a scene from the first part of the book where Mother Morheim threatens Paul with the Gom Jabbar if he does not put his hand in the pink box. Here I think is a little space ship. I think this is a spaceship, I think. Paul's nightstand here is a guide to Arrakis 
which is what Paul reads on the way to Arrakis. On one of the two moons of Arrakis, you can see the shadow of Muad'Dib, which is a desert mouse that they included in the new movie. On top of the fireplace, I put some ornithopters and a spice harvester. The Baron looks like he's ready for the fifth element. Sadakar are elite fighters trained by the Emperor on Seleucia Secundus. And the Gonjabar are a poisonous needle that the Bene Gesserits use. Here is the Souk Doctor with his Souk Doctor training diamond and the poisonous tooth. Spoilers. Here is also Faye Rasa, who is not in the new movie. Played by Sting in the 1984 movie. The Golden Pass is the prescient vision Paul sees for the future of humanity. Get to read the book to find out what it is. And here is Young One Deep getting into some spice melange, which is the drug spice that is sandworm poop, I think, and it makes you have preaching visions and see how to space travel. So that's Good Night Doom by me. Check it out. GoodNightDoom.com. Buy on Blurb. Show your friends. Show your family. Show it to your children. They're not going to understand what this is. Don't let them eat spice. They're not going to have any visions. <laughs> They're not going to have any good visions. And that's it. Let me know in the comments what you think of my book. I hope it's good. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye!